it's me, Mr. Baker, or CBeebies. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. to see you again. I'm just finishing off making this telescope. There, let's give it a try. <laughs> wow, I can see the sea. Oh, and look at that lovely boat. Oh, I wish I was out there on the sea. I'd make a great ship's captain. Oh yes, it's a sailor's life for me. The fresh air, the smell of the sea, and the sight of the ocean. Oh, actually, I think I'm probably better sticking to dry land. <laughs> but I have to say that this has given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making a brilliant porthole picture out of a paper plate. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. Come on! Two coloured paper plates. Some paint. Some salt. Some modelling clay and a pencil. Some paper, some glue, and wax crayons. <laughs> now, a porthole is a round window on a ship. So we could call this a porthole picture. With a boat floating on the waves. Let's get started. Now we need two coloured paper plates like this. And we're going to make a hole in one of them. Now, this is a bit tricky, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. Get a ball of modelling clay and a sharp pencil. Put the modelling clay underneath the plate and then very carefully push through the plate into the clay. Let's take out the pencil and remove the clay. And there, you've got a hole to help you cut out your porthole. Let's get cutting, but be careful because scissors are sharp. Next, draw a picture to go in your porthole. You can choose anything you like, but I'm going to do a boat at sea. Add some extra details with paint. Now let's add some waves for the sea. Now we can colour these waves in with a special watery, painty mixture. And we make that by putting a squirt of paint into a bowl and then adding some water to make it thinner. Let's give it a mix. OK, let's get painting. When you've done that and the picture is still wet, you need to sprinkle on some salt. Now this will make the sea look really realistic and, um, well, salty. And now we need to leave it all to dry. And look at this. The salt has made the sea look all bumpy and foamy. Now we need to cut out our boat and our waves very, very carefully. Glue these pieces onto the plate, starting by putting the boat in the middle. And now we can glue the waves over the top, like this, and then trim off the extra bits around the edge that we don't need. 
finally, glue around the edge of your plate. And then bring in your porthole plate and stick it on top. What a brilliant effect! It's a fantastic porthole picture looking out at a boat at sea. And there are lots of other porthole pictures you can try too. How about this one? A palm tree on a desert island. Or even a lighthouse on a choppy sea. It's up to you. You can make anything. And maybe you'll be so pleased that you'll join me in a I'm so happy I've made a porthole picture sea jig. <laughs> oh, my trousers. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I can hear snoring. <laughs> the shapes. They're asleep again. Let's wake them up. What are the triangles making today? Can you guess? It's a spider! Well done, triangle! Time to get back on the shelf! <laughs> Oh, those shapes are so clever! I get... Oh. Tucky here! Minute make time! Great! It's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today! A lolly stick bookmark! It looks great and it also slides on to your favourite page like this so it's easy to find. Fantastic! Now, to make one of these, you will need... A black pen, a pair of scissors, two lolly sticks, a glue stick, three pieces of craft foam, and some sticky tape. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Well, fancy you saying that, Toki. I think I can do it, although I will have to be very quick. Don't worry, though. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Let's get our pink and yellow craft foam and draw an ice cream. So that's made up of a cone shape like that. And, of course, a big blob of ice cream. There we go. Let's very carefully cut those out. Be careful! I'm being careful, Toki. Don't you worry. There we go. Oh, I like ice cream. Yeah, I like ice cream as well, Toki, but I haven't really got time to talk about that at the moment. There we go. Now, I'm also going to cut out a small circle of red foam. That's going to be the cherry on the top. There we go. Right, let's get some sticky tape and our two lolly sticks. And I'm going to stick those lolly sticks together like that at the top. Then let's get some glue. Put some glue on there. And that's going to be our cone position. Then some glue on there. That's going to be the ice cream, like that. And then that's going to be the cherry on the top. And some detail to the cone. I love it. That was close. Yes, that was a bit close, wasn't it? But now I can put my bookmark into my book by opening it up like that and then sliding it onto a favourite page. Very nice indeed. Fantastic! And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of bookmarks. Like this panda made with white craft foam. Or how about this wiggly bookworm made with peach-coloured craft foam. 
Lolly stick bookmarks made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Draw an ice cream on the craft foam and carefully cut it out. Tape the ends of the two lolly sticks together. Then glue the craft foam pieces to the taped ends of the lolly sticks to finish your lolly stick bookmark. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? <laughs> Do you know? I can't guess. Can you? I am back. I am green. I'm yellow. Done, everybody. See you soon. Now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now take a look at this. This road picture is fun to do and looks so good you'll be able to frame it. You will need a piece of card, a ruler, a small and large plastic plate, some paints. Paint brushes, a pencil, and a black pen. To make your road picture, draw round a small plate with a pencil to make a curved line. Do this again with a larger plate just above. This is our road. Next, draw houses on top of the road. Use a ruler to make straight lines. Paint the grass green. And the road grey, and then paint the houses and roofs lots of different colours. You can even paint some clouds in the sky. Outline your picture with a black pen, and add doors and windows to the houses. Paint white lines along the middle of the road to finish your picture. Isn't it a bright and colourful road? What a brilliant picture! Why don't you have a go and then frame it? Doesn't that look fantastic? I like making pictures out of all sorts of things. So let's make a picture out of jelly sweets. Woo! <laughs> What are the jelly sweets going to make? It's a jelly. Now what's going on here? <laughs> I like to have a few nice photographs around the place to brighten things up. Take a look. But the only problem is, I'm taking so many photos at the moment, I'm running out of frames to put them in. Well, not to worry, I can make one. Now I need a frame that's more me. <gasps> Wait a minute, that's it, me. I've just had a great idea. Let's make something. Let's make a brilliant body-shaped photo frame. This one looks like me. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the Google drawers. Are you coming? <laughs> some paint, a photograph of your face, a clear plastic lid, a pen, and a glue stick. Now we'll also need some air drying clay, which you can get from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. I've got it. 
Here it is. The air drying clay. Now, to make a photo frame, like this, take a blob of air drying clay and squash it into a body shape. Now, roll a long, thin sausage. Now, this is going to be an arm. There's one arm. Let's do another one. That's also going to be an arm. Now, we need some legs, and for that, we need to roll two sausage shapes, but this time, they could be a bit shorter than the arms and a little bit fatter. There. Two arms, two legs, and a body. Let's start building it up now. Let's move the arms off to the side, just for now. And we're going to sit our body up and put our legs underneath. Let's squidge the body on top. There it goes. Squidge. Now, we can just gently squeeze the end of each leg to make shoes. Now for the arms. Stick one on both sides, and at the end of each arm, bend it up and back on itself to make a hand that rests on the tabletop. Next, it's time to pick up our little body very carefully and sit it on the edge of a shelf or table like this. Now, find a photograph of someone that you'd like to put in the frame. That's me, that is. Hmm. Now, we're going to put this photo down and then bring in a round, clear plastic lid and place it over the top of the photograph. That's about right. And then draw around it with a black pen. There we go. That gives us a nice circle, which we're going to cut out. But be careful, because scissors are sharp. <laughs> now, very carefully, put glue all the way around the edge of your picture. Like that. And then bring in your lid again. And stick your picture inside. Go. Now we can push the photo into the top of the soft clay like this. And it looks fantastic! Now we need to leave it to dry overnight. Good night! <laughs> Morning! <laughs> when it's dry, you can paint it. Now, you can choose whatever colours you like, but I think I'm going to paint this one like me. When the paint is nice and dry, you can add some extra details with a black pen. This will make everything really stand out. Wow! Look at that! A photo of me in a photo frame of me! Don't I look great? <laughs> and there are lots of other photo frames that you could try too. How about turning yourself into a footballer and painting the kit in your favourite team's colours? Or why not try an animal frame with an animal-shaped body and some ears? Or even better, why not put yourself in the frame? Let's take a photo of you. Come on, smile. That's it, say cheese. Time to go. Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box.